Locking down iOS is the first in a series of consumer-focused how-to videos we're producing at ThreatPost. By the end of it, you'll have everything you need to secure or protect your iOS device if it's lost or stolen. First, you should activate the passcode lock function. To do that, go into Settings, scroll down, and select General. From there, tap Passcode Lock. If you haven't set one yet, it'll be set in the off position. The next screen will ask you if you'd like to turn a passcode on. Tap that and you'll be prompted to create a four digit passcode. Then you'll be asked to re-enter that same passcode, after which you'll be back at the passcode lock screen. And your device will be as secure as the keypad lock on your garage door. We can do better. From the passcode lock screen, go down to where it says simple passcode. Slide that to the off position. You'll be prompted to enter your old passcode. After that, you'll be asked to enter a new password. Only this time, you aren't limited to the simple four digit numbers only passcode. You can now enter as many numbers and letters and symbols as your little heart desires. Do so, then re-enter it, and you'll once again be back at the passcode lock screen. But now, simple passcode will be in the off position, and your phone will be significantly more secure. If you want to make the device even more secure, you can turn on that erase data feature down at the bottom of the screen. Doing so will enable a feature on your phone or tablet that erases all device data after 10 failed login attempts. Assuming your password is half competent, your device data should be secure if it's lost or stolen. If the erase data feature ends up being activated, don't worry about it. As long as your device is up to date, it should automatically back up to and be recoverable from the iCloud whenever you plug into your computer. If you don't trust the iCloud, you can always back up to your personal computer. To do this, you have to plug your device into the computer and launch iTunes. Find your device on the left panel in the Devices section. Under the Summary tab, you have a couple of backup options. You can change the default Backup to iCloud option to Backup to this computer. If you want to be extra secure, you can check the Encrypt Local Backup box. You'll have to enter and verify a password, and then your backup will be encrypted. As far as I'm concerned, the next step is most important. Go to the App Store, tap Search on the bottom bar, and search for Find My iPhone. You should now be at the Find My iPhone information screen. Before we go any further though, allow me to explain. If you think about it, it won't do any good to have the Find My iPhone app on your own device, because how would you use it if the device is lost? In fact, you don't actually need to download the Find My iPhone app at all. All iOS 5 devices have the Find My iPhone app features built in. You only have to enable them, which I'll demonstrate shortly. You can only locate an iOS device with the Find My iPhone app on another iOS device or Mac. The functionalities are built in, but the app itself is not, so you'll need to download it at some point if you lose your device. Anyway, here we are on the Find My iPhone information screen. Tap the blue free button and it will turn into a green button that says install app. You'll be asked to enter your Apple ID password. Do it. The app will begin downloading. Real quick. Go into Settings from the home screen, scroll down to and tap iCloud. Scroll down again and slide the Find My iPhone feature from off to on. You'll be asked to allow its features. Do so. Now you're all set to find your device if you misplace it. Imagine for a second you have no idea where your iPhone is. You can jump on another iOS device or Mac, download and or access the Find My iPhone app, and you'll be presented with this screen. Enter your Apple ID and password, and you'll find yourself at this screen, which identifies your phone. The first thing I'd do is make sure the device is locked, which it already should be, but just to be safe, tap Remote Lock. Then tap the top left of the screen where it says Location. This will locate your phone. Right now, as you can see, I'm at my office in Unicorn Park. With any luck, your device is buried in your dirty laundry hamper or hiding in a couch cushion. And to locate it, all you'll need to do is tap Play a Sound or Send a Message, Slide the play a sound bar over, hit send, and follow your ears. If it isn't located anywhere near you, you can put a message up on the device, letting anyone who finds it know that it is lost. Or, if the situation becomes dire, you can perform a remote wipe. Again, you can recover the device data the next time you plug into your iTunes. You can also activate a password for your SIM card. This way, if anyone plugs your SIM card into another device and tries to access your contacts or cellular data networks, they'll be asked to enter a password. You'll also be asked to enter the password if you reset your device. To activate this, go into Settings, scroll down and tap Phone, find and tap SIM PIN. Once on the SIM PIN screen, slide the button from off to on. You'll be asked to enter a PIN, and you may be asked to enter your PUK, which stands for Personal Unlock Key. I had to call my service provider to figure out what that was. After you figure out your PUK and establish a SIM PIN, you're good to go. 
You can also control which apps access your location data by going into your device's settings and tapping Location Services. You can turn Location Services off altogether, but this will negate all the progress we just made with the Find My iPhone feature a few minutes ago. I recommend allowing Location Services for the Maps app and Find My iPhone only. And lastly, you want to make sure you keep your software and your applications completely updated. That's all we have for now. Keep reading ThreadPost for your daily security news.